Aircraft have been around since the Wright brothers first flew at Kitty Hawk, and people have been designing new ones ever since. Some fly low, some fly high, and some don't end up flying at all. I'm Reacher, and today we're bringing you 15 unusual aircraft. Thank you for watching Mind's Eye Design. Number 15. Aaron Flying Ship Limited specializes in manufacturing and developing wing and ground craft, holding the record for the longest successful wig craft operation at almost 500 miles. The M80 can carry two crew and six passengers. It can reach a top speed of 125 miles per hour at just under 500 feet in altitude with the ability to take off and land in waves up to six feet high. On the water, it can still achieve a speed of 62 miles per hour. Number 14. A composite construction microlite, the Snark is the creation of Bill Barber. He completed four different models before coming up with the fifth model, the HA-3B. Constructed from Kevlar and carbon fiber, the propeller-powered aircraft featured elevated tandem seating in front of a shoulder-mounted wing. The 80-horsepower engine allowed it to cruise up to 128 miles per hour at a range of 650 miles. Number 13. The Columban Cry Cry prototype was flown for the first time in 1973. Designed for experimental aircraft builders, the plane was built according to the plans distributed by its designer. In 2010, a Cry Cry using two 25 horsepower electric motors and only 75% of its power broke the speed record for electric aircraft by traveling at 162 miles per hour. According to the engineering firm, if it wasn't for the stress on the airframe, it could have gone over 220 miles per hour. Number 12. The Elitar Sigma is a high-wing monoplane with a front top-mounted power plant and conventional tail design. The primary airframe structure consists of two beams, lower and upper, that are fixed to a pylon and attached to each other by a forward strut, giving it a wingspan of 32 feet and a length of 20 feet. It can reach a maximum speed of 150 miles per hour with a range around 400 miles. Number 11. What started with the first flight of the H-2X in 1997 evolved into the Hawk 4, which saw its first flight two years later in 1999. Measuring in at 22 feet in length and 10 feet in height, the aluminum and composite body houses a cabin with room to seat the pilot and three passengers. Although it can easily be mistaken for a gyrocopter, it's actually a gyroplane, which derives its main difference in the affixed airplane-like wings. One of the advantages of this is the ability for it to take off or land in a span of less than 50 feet. Number 10. A collaboration between aircraft manufacturer Pipistrol, the University of Ulm, fuel cell specialist Hydrogenics, and the German Aerospace Center Institute of Engineering and Thermodynamics, the HY-4 took off on its first official flight from Stuttgart Airport in Germany in 2016. This is the world's first four-seat passenger aircraft powered solely by electric propulsion and a hydrogen fuel cell system, making it environmentally friendly, silent, and safer. Number nine. Initially conceived in 1982 by Charles Leggetti, the Leggetti Stratos was built between 1984 and 1985. The company was set to produce 20 aircraft in the spring of 1987. But during a short test flight of a highly modified production version, the airplane stalled during landing and Ligeti was killed, causing the venture to end a few months later. Number 8. Before the Northrop Corporation joined forces with the Grumman Corporation, there was an aircraft named the Northrop N9M, which you probably could have mistaken for a B-2 stealth bomber at first glance. As for the aforementioned N9M, it came from the mind of Jack Northrop in a series of one-third scale prototypes that, like others on this list, lost its first version and a test pilot to a crash. Three more models followed, all with a length around 18 feet, a wingspan of 60 feet, and a height of just 6.5 feet. 
But unlike modern aircraft, this one had propellers instead of jet engines. All told, it could hit a maximum speed of 260 miles per hour with a range of 500 miles. Number seven. Another design of Northrop Grumman, the Firebird, was one of the last aircraft designed by Burt Rutan. First taking flight in 2010, it can be flown either manned or unmanned. Powered by a flat six piston engine, it's designed to fly for up to 40 hours at a top speed of 230 miles per hour. It has a wingspan of 65 feet, a length of 34 feet, and has hard points to carry weapons, although it's currently unarmed. Number six. This next entry has the honor of the coolest name on the list. It also has the honor of being the most out of proportion in regard to its size having a 69-foot wingspan, a 15-foot fuselage, if you can call it that, and a height of 3.5 feet. Originally intended to be a remotely piloted reconnaissance vehicle for high-threat environments, it can stay in the air for up to 8 hours at a flight ceiling of 45,000 feet. The first prototype took its maiden flight in early 1996, but crashed just a few months later on its second outing. The only surviving one to have reached the flight stages is now housed at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force near Dayton, Ohio. Number five. Trying to get into the light airplane market in 1974, Roar Industries produced the Fanjet, a low-wing delta made of fiber-reinforced plastic. Both the vertical tail and wings fold for transport and storage, while its nose wheel fairing doubles as a rudder. The cockpit has side-by-side -side seating with a single stick mounted in the middle giving access to both the co-pilot and the pilot. Due to financial trouble, the project ended with only one prototype having spent time in the air. Number 4 Rutan's best-selling design, the Long EZ, is a stretched-out version of the Very Ease. Meant to be easy to build, it was also completely customizable. This option has become an advantage, allowing some of the aircraft to set records for distance and speed. It has a wingspan of 26 feet, a top speed of 185 miles per hour, and a range of just over 2,000 miles. Around 12,000 plans for the EZ sold with costs varying due to customization. Number three. Another of the many aircraft by legendary aerospace engineer Burt Rutan, the Very Vigan has the distinction of being his first full-scale design. The original prototype, which was built in about 1,500 hours over a four-year span, had a 19-foot wingspan with a fuselage just short of that at 17 feet in length. The cockpit had room for two people with a cargo capacity just under 700 pounds. It had a 3 to 400 mile range depending on the flight speed, which maxed out at 165 miles per hour. Although the company sold over 600 sets of blueprints to home builders, the current estimate puts the number of working models at less than five. Number two. The ill-fated Pond Racer, built by Scaled Composites, was ahead of its time on engine technology, running a pair of 300ZX VG30 engines that required preheating of coolants and all the oils. The approach speed at landing was the same as an airliner at 161 miles per hour, but it didn't have flaps to slow down, making it extremely difficult to land. Designed to be the cleanest prop-driven plane in history, the choice of engine was the primary cause of its demise. In 1993, it caught fire and threw a rod, landing away from the airport and killing the pilot, which ended an excellent idea for an airplane. Number 1 Spaceship 2 is a suborbital space plane intended for use in the as-yet-to-be-seen industry of space tourism. Designed by Scaled Composites and manufactured by the Spaceship Company, the SS-2 in its current form is air-launched by another aircraft named White Knight 2. The 60-foot-long aircraft has a wingspan of 27 feet with room for two crew and six passengers. The single hybrid rocket engine is capable of reaching speeds up to 2,500 miles per hour with a flight ceiling around 50 miles. The first version of the craft, the VSS Enterprise, broke apart during a test flight in October 2014, killing one of the pilots. 
The subsequent model, named VSS Unity, was first revealed to the public in February 2016, with its maiden voyage taking place in December 2018. Initial ticket prices were $200,000, but since then have increased and stayed at $250,000. As of yet, there is no word on when the first commercial flight will take place. Hi everyone and thank you for watching. I'm Chandni with Mind's Eye Design. We love to hear your feedback, so please leave some comments below and let us know your favorite from this video and why you liked it. If you have an idea for a future video, leave another comment and let us know. And then if we use your idea, we'll give you a shout out in that video. But don't leave yet. Keep watching because there's more.